Miguel Almiron has completed his record move to Newcastle credit Newcastle if the story of Miguel Almiron signing for Newcastle United sounds like the plot from a movie, that is. Because it is. In 2005, the film Girl told the story of Santiago Munas, a Hispanic footballer from Los Angeles, who was plucked from obscurity to play for Newcastle in the Premier League. As you would expect, Munez initially struggled with the culture shock of swapping life in California for Tyneside, the plot embracing all the predictable pitfalls. Munez found the Premier League too physical and too fast. He had talent and skill but lacked the strength to thrive in English football. He looked as though he would be heading swiftly home to work with his father grooming the gardens of LA's rich and famous. Except, that would not have made a very good movie. So, with the script writers working their magic, Manez gradually got over his homesickness, got to grips with the weather, the Geordie accent and some brutal treatment from English defenders, to become a Newcastle legend, scoring spectacular winning goals against the likes of Manchester United and Chelsea, before going on to play for Real Madrid. 2005 film goal saw Santiago Manez become a Newcastle legend. Credit film stills it might be a stretch to say this is life imitating art but there are similarities. Al Mayan's £20 million arrival from MLS champions Atlanta United means he is US. Soccer's most expensive export and the 24-year-old Paraguay international has become Newcastle's record signing, breaking the £16.5 million spent on Michael Owen in 2005. There are huge expectations on his slender shoulders. But he will not have a scriptwriter to make sure things work out. However, for Darren Neils, president of Atlanta United, Newcastle have unearthed a diamond who has been well polished in MLS. As a player he is fantastic, Eels told Telegraph Sport, he is just so dynamic, his pace with the ball, I've always likened him to players I've been involved with at different clubs and the way he appears to be faster over the ground with the ball than without out, reminds me so much of Gareth Bale. He is just electric, he has been a great player for Atlanta and I can remember him playing in the All-Star game against Real Madrid in 2018, he was by far the best player as far as the All-Star team were concerned. You could see that when he played against better players, he got even better. He will work hard as well, that was one of the first thing that attracted us to him. He is exhilarating going forward but he also has that willingness to track back. He is the hardest worker in training. He was one of our star players, but he set the standards in that respect. We built a new team and won MLS in two years. We couldn't have done that without Miguel. January transfer window 2019 total spent when we signed him. We changed the usual MLS model. He was one of our designated players outside of the wage cap, but he was at the start of his career rather than the end, which is what has usually happened when we signed him. I always knew he would go on to play in Europe. This is uncharted territory for both Newcastle and Almiron, a rapid and slippery number 10 whose stats in the USA suggest he is both a creator and scorer of goals. His highlights reel is impressive, beating defenders from a standing start, sprinting forward with the ball at his feet, and a series of precise finishes in front of goal. But many a bad signing has been made from a highlights package. Eels, though, has no doubts. More importantly he no longer has any need to pretend, given he has just secured the largest fee for a player sold by a MLS club. I have no qualms about his ability to play in the Premier League, he explained. Obviously it will take a bit of time to adapt, but he has manager in Rafa Benitez who is ideal for him and he has come from a physical league in MLS. We wanted younger players who we were going to get better, who would go on to play in Europe and Miguel has all the attributes needed to succeed. Benitez was adamant before Christmas that Almiron was his first choice target, but at the moment he remains an unknown quantity, signed to a Pisa manager who had threatened to quit and supporters who were openly threatening not to renew the season tickets. The question now is how quickly will Almiron adapt to the Premier? League credit, Getty Images, the first thing to say about him is he is a lovely lad, very humble, added Kristen Hennage, an MLS expert who has spent the last two 
years monitoring Almayan's progress since he made an $8 million move from Lanús in Argentina. I was speaking to some of the coaching staff at Atlanta back in December and they were saying he is far from your stereotypical footballer. He doesn't go out partying, he's very humble. He's a bit of a football nerd and they were laughing about him watching cartoons on his iPad on the way to away games. But when you watch him on the pitch, it's a different matter. He's got that ability to carry the ball at speed and I think it was Liam Ridgewell who played for Portland Timbers who summed it up best. He's one of those players, as a defender, where you think I've got him and then he's away and gone in a flash. He does it brilliantly. When you look at the way Newcastle want to play under Rafa Benitez, he is perfect. He is exactly what they have been missing as the number 10 who links play. He will drop deep, pull defenders around, pick up the ball and move it on. If defenders get too tight, he will get away with his quick feet. If they drop off, he will pick a pass. The issue will be how quickly he can make the transition from MLS to the Premier League. It is a big jump. It's difficult to assess how big the gulf in class is because it's very subjective. But I'd say the standard of MLS is bottom half of the championship, with the weaker team's League One standard. But that's not to say a player like Almiron isn't good enough. He was a very ambitious signing by Atlanta as he was already one of the brightest prospects in South America. There was a lot of pressure on him, he cost $8 million which is a lot of money by MLS standards, and he took it in his stride. He could become a fantastic player for Newcastle.